Hello and welcome. I'm Susan from All Things Preserved and today we are going to make felted acorns. So let's start by showing you what's in the kit. Here we go. The first item is wool roving. So it's wool, it just hasn't been spun into yarn yet. And we have two acorn tops. And yes, they're real. And two wooden beads that have been repurposed from a previously loved piece of jewelry. And lastly, we have a length of cotton string. The only other things you'll need for this project are some glue, any kind of glue, plain white glue is fine, and soap, again, any kind of soap. This is dish soap, but you can use any kind you have on hand, and hot water and cold water. And now we'll get started. First thing we want to do, because we are making two acorns, is to divide the wool that you have in half. We don't want to use scissors. You can just pull it apart really easily with your fingers. There we go. We'll set one aside for now. Now, to felt this, we need to make sure that it's very, very thin. So we're going to spend a little bit of time, very lightly, feathering the wool. That's what it's called to just spread it out. And when you think you're done, you keep going a little bit more. And you feather all the edges. If there are darker patches in the middle, spread those out. If you get a hole, that's okay. If it breaks apart into two pieces, that's okay too. Very important that the edges of your piece do not have a solid line. So you keep feathering those out. Okay, I think mine's all done. And then I'll lay it on my hand. You can lay it on the table as well. Put your bead in there. What we're going to do is just wrap it. It's a little bit slippery, so you just roll it gently. Fold some of the wool in. Roll it some more. We'll fold the wool until it's wrapped as tightly as you can. And again, if there are any edges that are solid, make sure they're all feathered out and that way it will felt really nicely. And I'll just tuck those in. So now I have a ball that's holding together like that. Next step is to get a little bit of hot water. You can either dunk it in a bowl, you can put it under running water. I'm just going to dunk it like this. And a drop of soap. Just a drop, that's all you need for a small project. And then, very gently, I'm going to just press the ball in circles. I don't want to press really hard. I don't want to create a lot of fric friction. Friction is what's needed to felt wool. Friction and hot and cold water. Can you see that it's already starting to stick together a little bit? So what I want to do during this process is to alternate between cold water, hot water and then add a little bit of soap, just a drop at a time. That just helps with the friction. What we're doing is getting all of the wool fibers to stick together, to fuse together. So I'm just rubbing gently and kind of in circles. Um, I like doing it on this part of my hand because it creates more friction. You can certainly work on a cloth if you'd prefer. And again, just keep getting, it does need hot water, so keep putting it in the hot water. The cold water obviously makes it contract. And when you don't see any more bubbles, just add a little bit of soap. And you keep working until the ball is a little more solid. You can stop at any point. Um, you can do sort of a, a pinch test. And if it's very squishy still, which this one is, you can continue, or you can leave it like this. I'm going to do a little bit more felting, so just means more friction, cold water, hot water, maybe one more time with the soap. Keep moving it in a circle. 
And like magic, the wool fibers mix with each other and end up felted into a ball. So I'm going to dry that off on my towel or my cloth. And if there's a little bit of soap, rinse it out again. And just give that a dry. And if you find at this point that it still feels a little too squishy to your liking, you can continue the process here. Now, you do want to let it dry before the next step. I have one here that is already dry. And the next step is attaching the acorn head or cap. I think it's called a cap. And it's very, very simple. All you do is take a tiny bit of white glue around the edge of the acorn cap. And it doesn't matter if it's a little bit messy because it does dry clear. Take that and then just attach that ball and hold on to it. Because they're both natural materials, the white glue works perfectly well and it will dry clear. Once you do both of those, the final step is to attach the string so they can hang. You can omit this step if you just want them um, to lay down. The easiest thing I find to do is to put a little, little bit of glue on the string first. It just helps it stick. And, whoops. Here we go. And there's plenty of string here in your kit just to tie a knot around the little stem on the cap. And if it gets messy, remember, the glue will dry clear. There we go, tie it as tight as you can and just let it dry and then you can trim the excess. When it's dry, rinse off your hands since you have the handy bowl of water there. And those are your finished acorns. Thank you for joining me for this wet wool felting workshop. That's quite a mouthful. Um, I look forward to sharing more natural, sustainable activities with you. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.